Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, for you in the Northern Hemisphere, happy spring. In the Southern Hemisphere, happy fall. Uh, today, um, I'm, I haven't uh, done a texturing video yet. But uh, this is just uh, a quick video if I can make, and you guys know me, so a quick video might be 17 hours long. Um, but anyway, uh, we're upgrading our software, all right? I've upgraded my blender to 3.1. Um, I usually wait a while before I do a lot of my updates. But anyway, um, I'm at a good point where I get everything updated. All right, so I've updated to uh, Blender 3.1, and I've also updated my GLTF uh, 2.0 uh, exporter. Anybody that's been using Blender 2.83 and above, um, well, through the 2.9s have we've all been using blender to msfs plugin well it's time to change all right asobo has come out with their uh, uh gltf exporter and th it's been around for a little bit but um, they have released it for Blender 3.1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it, where to download it, and get this thing installed so you can start uh, getting back to work of uh, creating your models and exporting them using free resources. All right, so um, Blender 3.1 is a dramatic change if you do a lot of testing in your renderers you're going to see some dramatic uh, performance enhancements for rendering uh, the basic tools that we use in blender they really haven't changed okay uh, so you're not going to have a huge learning curve and i'm not here to show you the any blender new stuff okay i'm going to concentrate on the exporter for this video all right so if you have blender if um there's links to the description to where to get blender to download it get it installed and you can have multiple versions of blender installed on your machine so you can still have your old blender and your old way of doing things and then upgrade to the newer version, get used to it, and then you can use your own workflow to make your migration to the new software, okay? So that's what I like about Blender, is that you can keep the old, work on the new, and then make a transition at your own speed, all right? So anyway, I digress. We are in Blender 3.1. And what we need to do is we're going to go to, and there's links to the description of where to get all the software in the description of the video. Okay, so first place that you're going to go to is you are going to go to Osobo's GitHub page. And um, you'll probably, let me see, you'll probably, I'm going to hit the back. Yeah, you'll probably come up to this page right here. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to go to releases, and it gives you the um, change log, basically, of all the different releases that they've made. Okay, so they've been working on this exporter since Blender 3.0, but the new version 1.1.2 is out, which is compatible with Blender 3.1. So just go ahead and click and download the source code it'll put a zip file somewhere on your machine that you know where it's going to be right okay and unlike many other blender plugins most plugins to be honest with you you have to extract this one okay so i extracted it to my blender learn uh, folder on my machine and if I double click into that, okay, you're going to see 
the folder where you are and you're going to see a folder called add-ons you're going to double click that and you're going to see the IOC GLTF2 MSFS folder all right so just know where that is and now I'm going to assume that you've downloaded Blender and you have it installed. So you're going to migrate to where that is and that's going to be in your programs folder, your Blender foundation folder, and then whatever version of Blender that you're using. Notice that I've been using 2.9 for a long time, but hey, it was working and I only used probably 10% of Blender anyway. Um, but we have Blender 3.1, so you are going to go into Blender 3.1, and then you're going to go into the 3.1 folder, and then you're going to go into the scripts folder, and in the add-ons folder, all right, so it's a lot, you're deep down in the bowels of Blender now, all right, so you have the add-ons folder. Basically, what you're going to do is take that IOC GLTF MSFS that you downloaded from GitHub and unpacked it and gone into the add ons for that folder. You're going to right click. I've already, I already have mine in there, so I'm not going to do this, but you're going to right click, drag it, and drop it and copy it into the Blender 3.1 add ons folder. Okay? So you got that. So many Blender add-ons you can install directly from the zip. Um, this one you have to unpack it and then put it in the add-ons directory for Blender. All right. If you guys, if, if that's wrong, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, you might be able to install it from the zip, but... I didn't have any luck doing that, so I redid it and did it this way, okay? Um, I am I could have flipped out and did something really screwy, which wouldn't surprise me at all. But anyway, I, I ex extracted it, copied the IOC GLTF2 MSFS into the Blender's add-on directory folder, okay? With me? All right, next step. All right, so once you have that installed, so you have Blender 3.1 and you have the exporter, Asobo's exporter extracted and installed in the Blender add-on directory, then you're going to go in Blender and you're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then in the search box, you're going to type in Microsoft or until it finds it. Okay, so type in micro and you get import export Microsoft Flight Simulator GLTF extension. Go ahead and click that check box. All right. And if you want to double check the version, just uh, hit this, the down arrow and it should be 1.1.2. Okay. All right. So check that box. Uh, you can save preferences here if you wanted to, or you can just X out. And you should have it enabled. And to see if you have it enabled over here, you'll have the uh, multi export GLTF 2.0 uh, box. And you'll, this is new, by the way. Uh, Blender to MSFS didn't have this quick access to this uh, tool. Okay, so you have three tabs. You have the object. All right, and we're not going to go into detail to all of the of this stuff, but you do have quick access. You can have work with some pre pre presets okay and we'll talk about those in a later video but you can go over to settings and this settings tab is should look totally familiar to you from the blender to msfs add-on because it's pretty much exactly the same so that's where you put your textures directory which would be dot dot slash texture slash 
okay any copyright your includes you know it's going to be uh, your custom properties okay whatever um, usually it's custom properties from the last one all right and then you got your transforms that's always checked your geometry where you select your apply modifiers tangents uh, UVs, normals, I think that kind of stuff, and then animations, which we really didn't do too much with before. Okay, so the settings of the Asobo is pretty much exactly like it was for Blender to MSFS. All right, but you got them right, right here. You don't have to wait. You don't have to set these at the export level remember the last time that we had to do it you went to you went to file i'm sorry you went to export no again you went to you went to file and then you went to export now the only difference is that this used to say down here for msfs down here okay but you're just going to select the GLTF to export, all right? And then you get this tab right over here for your export. It looks familiar. Looks like it did before, but all of this stuff can be preset in that in the setting tab and then you export your model just like you always have. Okay? So, that is that is installing the the new Asobo exporter in Blender 3.1 and also what you might want to remember is to any of those tools that I've been talking about in previous versions you might want to make sure that you get all your other preferences added on as well okay so a lot of my videos I use the extra objects, both the add curve and the add mesh. Uh, how come it won't scroll? There we go. I add the extra objects for add curve, my add mesh for archimesh, uh, for doing stairs and things, windows and stuff like that. Uh, extra objects mesh. Uh, you might put the measure, the measure it. Okay, so just make sure that you turn on all those add-ons that you had in your previous version so you can have all those tools back. All right, so just so we all know that we we have a good exporter for Blender 3.1 and go ahead and get all that installed and continue your modeling. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, comments, obviously leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you feel inclined, please support me by buying me a coffee. Buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. Hey, and we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. You guys are great. Bye.